Hello, I'm Jennifer Castoldi from Trendies International, and today I'm here to speak with you about a very important topic, green design. Now, it's not either black nor white. It's a range in between. The most valuable tool is a life cycle assessment. However, we don't always have this at our fingertips. So let's arm ourselves with information and ask as many questions as possible. Because greenwashing is about as honest as me saying I'm a natural greenhead. An important aspect of green and sustainable design is to understand the materials that are in your products. So let's uncover some floor coverings, some rugs, and furniture to see what they're all about. We know that linen is an ecological material, but did you know that other things come from the flax plant? Marmoleum produces a flooring that is made from flax, linseed, linseed oil, the resin from pine trees, wood flour, wood limestone, natural pigments, and mixed with jute. This flooring has been cited with having the most widespread color palette in the world, and it holds a special cradle-to-cradle -cradle silver certificate. There's some materials we may never consider. Think of Starbucks, one of the world's largest producers of coffee beverages. What do they do with all those grounds? Well, they've given the task to Dr. Singh in Chuchuto in Thailand, who has been taking the local coffee grounds and producing with his material lab a new composite that is made up of 30% recycled coffee grounds. What happens to this composite material? Well, if you go to some local Starbucks in Bangkok, you will see that the furniture is made from recycled coffee grinds. And what they don't use, they're giving to local parks as fertilizer. Lensing produces man-made cellulose fibers from the renewable resource of wood. For autumn winter 2014-15, they're bringing us green as well, many shades of it, in the form of a color forecast. Bicycle riding is increasing around the world, but have you ever thought about what happens to the tires when they are no longer in use? Papilio has been creating a range of floor coverings made with old tires. It's a great new form of upcycling and they've introduced a new range with on-trend colors. And what about the ubiquitous plastic bag? Well, Michelle Baggerman has come up with a creative solution to these bags that fly around everywhere. She's cut them up and hand twisted the yarns, then woven a beautiful new colorful textile that is very durable. Best thing about it is at the end of the life, there are no additives so they can be 100% recycled. Wool is eco because of many different attributes. Uh, one in particular is it's sustainable. It's also fire retardant, it's non-allergenic, it's very hard wearing. There's many, many more, but these attributes make it very eco and very efficient to use in many different realms of textiles. You're getting your, your value for money, basically. The end of the life cycle is just as important as the beginning. All of these batteries were sitting around my apartment, gathering dust on the countertop, but now I found a proper home for them while they wait for proper waste disposal. Nuba's Ellipse Lamp has been a bestseller for over 20 years. And to keep it on the top of its game, Nuba has switched from the halogen light to specifically engineered LED lights that maintain the same warm glow while saving 60% of energy charges. Unsold Dutch tourist trinkets that were manufactured in Thailand were gathering dust in the factory. Along came a clever Dutch designer who brought new life to these trinkets by adding them to limited edition vases that are all numbered, dated, and signed in Thai by the artisans. The stock was sold out very quickly. But now that they're all gone, what do you do? Well, Wonderable has been quite creative and they created jobs by manufacturing new trinkets and creating a new collection of the souvenir vase. I love this aspect of adaptive reuse.
unused with care labels from the fashion industry are getting a new life in home fashion as trim. But look closer and you will see the care instructions on the other side, some from the hottest labels on the high street. Other useful tidbits while you're shopping are understanding labeling and standards. So it's your fair trade standards, your CSR certifications. For example, this dress that I'm wearing comes from People Tree and it's certified organic fair trade cotton. Culture and creativity come together with these waste papers from a Vietnamese printer. Using the same techniques of the Vietnamese garlands, they paste these scraps together to create very bright and unique lampshades. Each one is individual and has a rainbow of color all of its own. You've just seen a wide range of green designs and you understand now the importance of getting lots of information. What are the materials being used, the process, the different standards and labeling, and understanding the life cycle of the products to make the best informed decision possible for your purchases. Thank you for watching.